Hey guys, I'm Jay Dupree, and today I'll be showing you some tips to instantly become a better pool player. Uh, I know it sounds far-fetched, but they really are tips that will instantly transform your game. So the first thing we're going to talk about is ball pocketing. How do you improve your ball pocketing? How do you actually make the ball? Uh, now one tip that I have for you is to look at the angle of the shot. I know it sounds so basic, but what a lot of people do is they'll just like the cue ball land somewhere and they'll just and just like it's like that. And then you make a careless mistake once you go down the road. You may want to run one rack, but after that, you may completely botch it just because you didn't care about what angle you had, like that. So always take the time to look at the shot before you shoot it. If I'm shooting around that same shot as I did earlier, I'm going to look at this angle. I'm also going to find my point. And then I'm just, I, I know where I need to hit. It's so basic now. So now I just put my foot on that line. I get down and I can make the ball. And you see that went right to the heart of the pocket. The five ball uh, kind of hit here or here. I can't remember which one, but it did not go right to the heart of the pocket like that one ball did. Now another tip I have for you is staying down on the shot. And we all have trouble with this, all of us, even the pros. Uh, we always, every pool player has a problem with this at some point. Uh, and the goal when you're shooting is to be perfectly still, nothing moving but your arm. I will try to demonstrate that the best I can. Just like that. So we want to stay down until the ball hits the back of the pocket. So we're looking at our shot. We're getting down on the line. We're going to stay sturdy. We want to be as stable as possible. Stay down until the ball hits the back of the pocket. Now, there are a couple like stroke differences that you may need to correct with your uh, with your stroke and all that, but you can do that on your own time. Just know that with my stroke, uh, I don't turn your wrist like that. Do not turn your wrist. That's a bad little defect. Also, you don't want to drop your elbow too much. It's like in the back, you don't want to drop it down like that on a normal shot. Uh, I'm going to try to demonstrate it. I don't know if my body will even let me because I've tried to get rid of that so hard. Uh, but it, it'll look like this. But you see how your tip goes up? And the only way that you need to do that is when you're doing like a crazy draw shot. So when you are drawing the ball back so far, it just becomes a necessity to drop your arm like that. And usually when you do a draw shot like that, your whole arm goes through. Like it is crazy, but that's the only instance where you would really need it. Like if you're trying to power draw something like that and you see it doesn't really work. I'm going to tell you why. So when you drop your elbow, notice the direction of the tip. So I'm not dropping my elbow here. I am going to drop my elbow here. Look how the tip goes up. So that means when you think you're aiming center on the cue ball, when you drop your elbow, it's going to go forward. So I'm going to aim center on the cue ball and drop my elbow. Watch the cue ball go forward. I'm aiming center, even below center. I'll aim below center. I'm still going to go forward because I dropped my elbow. And there will be a tiny bit of elbow drop just depending on your stroke and your game. Uh, I have just a small like little inch, but it does not affect my tip, so it's fine. So I'm going to do my normal stroke, and my elbow may go down just a little bit, but mostly it's all in my wrist. Mostly the whole thing is in my wrist. You can see my shooting motion from this direction too. So the steps we have so far. So we have a shot, no matter what the angle, we're going to look at it, we're going to get down, we're going to shoot in our most stable position, we're going to bring it back, don't drop the elbow, stay down until the ball hits the back of the pocket. And I know it's so hard to remember. 
So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to set up a shot. There's two ways you can do this. You can set up a shot, practice looking at the angle, getting down, staying stable, you go through your pre-shot routine, keep your elbow up, stay down until the ball hits the back of the pocket. So you're going to have to do that a few hundred times a day. Uh, I know it sounds crazy, but that's what you're going to have to do. Now another thing you could do is do this. Just take a ball, look at the angle into the pocket, get down, stay stable, don't drop your elbow, stay down so the ball hits the back of the pocket. So this one you're going to have to do a few thousand times. A few thousand times until it becomes muscle memory to do that. Uh, and it's going to take a while. It took me uh, about a month of just doing that straight. So just do that uh, and it will automatically correct your stroke. And I know it's so boring. It's the most boring thing. People just want to play nine ball, pocket balls, but you really, really have to put time uh, into correcting your mistakes. And you may need to video yourself playing and put it next to a pro player who has like good fundamentals like Ralph Souquet. Uh, so put your, that's what I did. I, I video myself and I put my game next to Ralph Souquet and Thorsten Holman and Mika Eminen. I put myself, my stroke next to theirs. Uh, and I looked at the differences and I tried my best to correct those differences because they have they're very fundamentally sound Now another tip I have for you uh, And this is more of an advanced tip So let's say we're playing a game of nine ball and we have That right there We have this situation right here and what I need to get across to you is look ahead at the problems in the rack. So you broke, uh, part of the table looks like this. We're looking ahead at this seven ball because this seven ball only has one pocket and it's the side. So before I even shoot the first ball, I'm thinking about going from uh, the four to the seven in this case. What do I need to do to get to the four to the seven? Uh, so that's what we're gonna think about. Uh, and the answer would be like this. We're gonna get on that side of the four. See, I had trouble staying down there. And we're going to try to get over for the seven inch inside. Well, if we can make the four, <laughs> but we didn't even look at the angle there. See, I'm not, I'm not practicing what I'm preaching. Uh, but you see over to the seven, go look at the angle. Also, before you just get down and shoot a shot, See if it actually goes into the pocket. That's something a lot of players have problems with. Uh, they see a tough shot that almost doesn't go, and they just get down, think it goes, and just shoot. You could get lucky and cross bank it, uh, but also that, that's part of looking at the angle. You got to see uh, the shot. So stay down on the shot, look at the angle, don't drop your elbow too, too much and look ahead at your problems, and those will all transform you into a better pool player. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button on the video. Uh, if you want to receive notifications when I upload a new video and you just want to be helpful, uh, you can press the subscribe button, then put the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I uploaded a new video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Also, check out my sponsors down in the link. So I have the description, and then in the links, I have all of my sponsors. Go check those people out. I have the IQ training ball down there if you want to further improve your game. I also have my apparel sponsor, uh, Brutal USA, down there at brutalusa.com. So check those guys out. They are very, very, very comfortable clothes, and they're also wonderful people. So go and check those. Uh, out. I also have a deal on Amazon. So uh, I have every video I find a great billiards deal on Amazon on a product that I use that's on sale. Uh, and so I go and put that link in the description. So you can guy, you guys can go check out that link in the description, find that Amazon deal. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.